Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here. Guys, today I want to talk a little bit about fragrance oils, about um, what, how I use fragrance oils basically and what fragrance oils I have at the moment in my collection. Just an FYI guys, I do not have a lot of fragrance oils. I feel like I have under 10 and um, I'm just starting to explore them more and more but uh, i'm definitely open to recommendations so if you have any recommendations of fragrance oils please put them down below and please let me know about them i usually like uh, either gourmands or heavy heavy orientals so or woods so if you have any recommendations of those please put them down below but yes guys if you're interested let's begin okay so at the moment i have eight fragrance oils in my collection uh, i used to have another two uh, from Halis, but um one is called golden dust that one I actually really enjoyed but my best friend she really enjoyed that one as well so i just gave it to her and the other one was something like muhalat something but i do not remember the name but i just remember not liking it so yes i just wanted to mention those two so i can get them out of the way so now let me show you what fragrance oils i actually have at the moment guys i will start with these two from al -Anik. i think that's how you pronounce the brand uh this one it's almost gone this one is called royal orchid and this one this one is called out sahara i actually like this one better than this one um let me tell you a little bit how i actually ended up buying them this one guys this one was my first uh middle eastern fragrance oil and i actually bought this one because i wanted uh, something that smells similar to black orchid and it does have indeed a similar vibe to black orchid I would say guys basically this one is the more potent version of Oud 24 hours by uh, Ardal Zafran so if you have Oud 24 hours by Ar Ardal Zafran and you want to make it last a little bit longer look for this one like they smell identical this is just like way stronger than it like, if you look like mine is almost gone and guys like I used to carry this one in my purse all the time and oh my gosh like and let me actually show you a little bit how I apply fragrance oils. Um, first of all, it's very important to look at the color. Some of them, like, see, this one has this kind of color. I also have one that's like this kind of color. So uh, don't apply them directly on clothes. And what I mean by that is don't take them and just like roll them, you know, here, because you will stain your clothes. So let me show you actually how I apply them. This is just a demonstration. I'm not going to actually apply them because I already have fragrance on. I take this one, okay? First of all, I apply it behind my ears, uh, this side, this side, okay? And then like with my little finger, I like tap it in a little bit, you know? I go for my pulse point, meaning I go for my wrist and I go for, um, and I go for this part here, guys. And again, I apply them I either tap them like that, but like gently tap them. Don't rub your fragrance because that's not okay. So yes, I gently tap them like that. So the oil can actually like um, go into my skin a little bit. And like I said, I do the same here. Now, after that, I apply them to my palms. Like I take them and I do them like this and I apply a lot of it to my palm. I tap my palms again again and again like this and after that i just like do it like this all over my clothes you know um and i repeat this action and i do it for my hair i take this one again i put it in my palms you know like i put quite a lot of it you know again tap them very lightly and i go from the ends of my hair to the top don't apply most of the product to the top because your hair will get greasy really fast apply it most of it on the length of your hair and only at the end come here a little bit you know so yes guys when i wear them this is how i wear them uh i used to wear them a little bit more in the past i used to wear this one a lot when i used to wear it like i just showed you guys uh it lasted me like quite like half a day it lasted me i had no problem with it you know um so yes now like i said okay this one guys i would actually recommend to you if you want to uh if you like black orchid get it it again it's not like 100 percent due to black orchid but it smells like extremely similar like i feel like it's the same scent that uh, oud 24 hours by Ard hard al zafran has so yes if you want that kind of vibe get this one and this one is very affordable another one that i have is called out sahara this one guys uh this one smells like a church to be honest it's 
it's i don't know like i used to like this one way more in the past but now like i don't know like i do not wear this one anymore i don't know why but for layering it's really great i used to layer this one with the uh, the Swiss Arabians Shagraf Oud of Swad and they worked really great together they complemented really beautifully but on its own I don't wear it this one like I said this one is Aoud Sahara and this one basically smells like um, a very ambery balsamic myrrh kind of vibe so yes that's just it it's very sweet it's very dense it's very very uh, warm it's yes it smells like myrrh if you've ever smelled myrrh this is how it smells is, I feel like this the name for this one is just for marketing now guys one that I really like it but I cannot wear it because it is too strong for me it's this one uh, this one I received it as a gift from one of my friends in Qatar he gifted this one to me um, because I really liked his fragrances and he gifted this one to me who guys this one is very strong like I don't remember how this one is called to be very honest because I'm not from Qatar I don't know where he got it from um, I don't know how this one is called but if I remember correctly this one is supposed to be called like mask mecca or something guys okay, this one is your very animalic mask uh, with a lot of cinnamon it's very woody it's very dry it's very guys like this projects like crazy oh my gosh like when I was just starting my journey with really strong fragrances I would put this one like here on my finger you know i would do just like this and it will give me a headache because i was able to smell it the entire day so yes i'm really sorry but for this one i cannot tell you the brand i cannot tell you anything about it besides the fact that it is extremely strong like extremely strong this is not very audi this is more like woody dry um, very musky with this one guys like if i were to wear this one I would not do the same routine that I've just showed you with the previous one, okay? Because if I were to do the same routine, like, first of all, I would choke myself and I would choke the people around me. So with this one, definitely, like, just a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit to my wrist and that's it. I love the smell. The smell is gorgeous. It's very relaxing to me. And guys, these are the last fragrance oils that I have. These, uh, these are five. Yes, these are five. And uh, all five are from Al Um they're really great but let me just tell you three of them i really love two of them i don't like you're like from this collection okay but if you go on their website if you go to al haramain's website you will find them there i will start with this one because this one smells like nothing <laughs> it's yeah i get this one has like a slight hint a sweet musky vibe but like a slight hint first of all when you apply it to your skin like in the first like 10 minutes you will smell absolutely nothing but like a nothing with a greenish tone if that makes sense does that make sense i don't know scent that smells like nothing but has like a slightly green tone and after that it will open up into a musky sweet uh, but no this one is not my favorite so yes this one guys the one that looks that has this color like an ambery a light ambery color i this is <laughs> I feel like this scent profile just keeps following me everywhere I go. This one, guys, smells like Black Intensive Oud by Mansera and it smells like uh, Oud Al Mubakhar by Rasasi. So, yes, I, I do not like this one. It has that very uh, saffron, rose, medicinal oud kind of vibe, and it's not my kind of vibe at all. Like, Yes, like when I actually smell this one, I think of the other two that I don't like. So no, this one is a no for me. And we get to the three fragrances that I actually really enjoy. I will start with the one that's the lightest. Um, this one, I really like it. These three, the last three that I've showed you, are very Middle Eastern-like. Uh, this one smells like a very sweet, uh, thick rose. With, I don't know, some like... Almost like something citrusy that lifts up the scent a little bit. And then something very warm and ambery that tones it down again. So yes, this is the vibe I get from this one. Now this one, guys. This one, this one is very interesting. I was very surprised when I smelled that one in the beginning. This one smells like... Um, this one smells like... I don't know if it's just me, but this one smells like what pink sugar would smell if pink sugar would go to the middle east <laughs> if that makes sense but guys like legit this one smells like pink sugar would go to the middle east it's 
it has this burnt sugary kind of vibe also like it, I, I can detect from this one amber and something woody also like a little bit of orange blossom I actually really like this one this one works really well with my um, gourmand fragrances to layer with my gourmand fragrances and this one guys this one the darkest one is my favorite one out of all this one it's a dry woody dusty musky kind of fragrance yes i hope that makes sense i don't pick up any wood from this one so i feel like this one is really unique as well it reminds me a little bit of this one but this one is actually a more wearable version of this one oh and this one is very cinnamony who guys like this one wow this one is strong wow yes this one is strong as well, but not as strong and as potent as that one. But this one is definitely more wearable. Now, I would actually do the routine that I've showed you previous as well, meaning that I would apply it like here behind my ears, a little bit on my neck, on my pulse point, and then I would apply it to my palm and to my clothes and to my hair, you know? Because even though this one is strong, but at least it's not bothering to me. <laughs> so yes, um, how you can wear fragrance oils. Of course, you can wear them on their own, you can layer them with um, with your fragrances, you can layer them basically with fragrances that have a similar vibe to them, or you can layer them with fragrances that are like very different and you can create your own concoctions. I do that all the time. Or guys, something that I really like to do, but not with all, only with some fragrances, and usually the ones that are like a little bit sweeter, is to mix them with an... Um, a scented or unscented lotion and to apply them on my hand so basically i make like my own like uh, scented lotion you know with them but guys like if you want to try that i would actually advise you to mix them with something that's not scented so like uh, for instance i use um, one from bioderma i will insert a picture here that one is very moisturizing or i used to use one from nivea which i really enjoyed as well but basically any lotion that's not scented and um Mix it with that and create your own fra uh, your own uh, fragranced lotions. So yes, this is how I would use them. Uh, keep in mind, do not apply them directly on clothes because uh, the oil can stain the fabric. Also, the color from the oil can stain the fabric as well. So keep that in mind. If you can apply them on your clothes, you can definitely do that. But do it like I've showed you, okay, where you apply it to your palms, you like tap your palms a little bit and after that you like gently, gently uh, touch your clothes with that, you know, and you can do that from top to, from head to toe, you know. So yes guys, basically this is everything I wanted to tell you about fragrance oils. If you have any questions, please put them down below and I promise that I will get back to you. Don't forget to tell me how you use fragrance oils and what are your favorite fragrance oils because I would love to know that. I definitely want to get to experiment a little bit more with fragrance oils. Uh, so yes, this is everything I wanted to tell you. I want to thank you so 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 much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. So bye guys. Mwah.